you, Sister Rebecca. Thank you for praying uh, for us and with us this morning. We are uh, just excited and preparing our hearts for a word of devotion this morning, a word that would certainly inspire us as we head out into the day today uh, to be blessed uh, by God and to be used by God. Uh, we are just so grateful and blessed to have with us Pastor, uh, Pastor Matt, uh, Pastor Matthew Macau. Matthew is not as Pastor Matthew is not a stranger with us. He has been here before. In fact, in our uh, 40 days of prayer last year, he came by and blessed us. He is uh, a friend, a friend of our prayer ministry and certainly a friend in ministry. Uh, Pastor Matthew pastors the Nation of Praise, uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church uh, in here in Katy, Texas. And uh, certainly we are delighted, uh, Matthew, to have you, have you with us again this morning. I know that God always blesses the word as you share, inspire us today. We welcome you uh, to the morning manner, to the season of 100 days of prayer. We turn over uh, the time to you to share with us what God has laid on your heart. Thank you, Pastor, this morning, and I want to work, uh, uh, say good morning to everyone that is listening uh, this morning. Uh, God is good, and uh, as we spend a few minutes this morning, uh, my prayer is that uh, he will be able to open our minds and open our hearts to see uh, why it is important for us to spend as much time as we can in prayer. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just want to ask that your Holy Spirit will intervene on our behalf this morning. Father in heaven, we have numerous prayers of different things. And I believe that uh, you can answer our prayers according to your wishes in glory. So as we listen to your word, Father, may your name be exalted. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. One of the greatest prophets uh, in the Old Testament uh, goes by the name Elijah. Elijah was not just a regular prophet, but it is recorded in the Old Testament especially in the book of first kings that he was a prophet who when he prayed his prayers were answered elijah had uh, if i can say uh, made prayers that were extraordinary he would not just pray regular prayers but when he prayed, something happened. My brothers and sisters, even the book of James uh, records that Elijah was a man subject to like passions like you and me. James chapter 5 verse 17 says, but when he prayed that there would be no rain, there was no rain for three years. Elijah had developed a serious connection with the Lord. There was no assignment that was small to him. He took everything to the Lord in prayer. But the beauty and the, the interesting part about Elijah is that he had developed faith strong enough to understand that God can do the impossible in his life. We have to get to a point, my brothers and sisters, that we consistently can see what the Lord has done. And by looking at what he has done in our lives, we can base anything else that we will go through by looking at what the Lord has done in the past and asking him to do the same thing for us in our day-to-day -day lives. Elijah, when he prayed, heaven opened up. But what uh, the Bible records in the book of 1 Kings 
First Kings chapter 18 and verse 36. Bible says that at this time, at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, Elijah the prophet approached the altar and said, O Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and uh, Jacob, let it be known today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant. And that I have done all these things at your word. That prayer recorded in 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 36. Is the one of the most powerful prayers prayed by Elijah. That this prayer we find. This prayer that we find in the book of 1 Kings uh, chapter 18 and verse 36 was so powerful that God rained fire from heaven and consumed the sacrifice that was uh, watered down and, and so damp with water. He did something that had never been seen, had never been seen on earth. What kind of prayers should we pray, my brothers and sisters? So that God can do extraordinary things in our lives. What kind of prayers should we pray? So that God can move like he moved in the life of Elijah. This morning, my brothers and sisters, I just want to let you know that God will move on your behalf if we pray prayers that are to glorify him and not ourselves. When we pray prayers that have everything to do with his name being exalted, but not on our own or to our own benefit. The Lord will answer prayers. The Lord will change things because we are doing so for the glory of his name. God has done this before and he will do it again. My brothers and sisters, when we have faith and we have solid faith, we can pray prayers that are powerful prayers. You know, we have I've discovered, I've discovered my brothers and sisters, that even when we pray for those people that are sick among us, when they come and say, oh, please pray for so-and-so, they are going through something or they are, they are very sick. And we sometimes ask for prayers just as a formality. We don't sometimes ask for prayers knowing that God is going to move on our behalf. We just ask for prayers to just say we had asked for prayers, but our faith has not been activated. This morning, my brothers and sisters, we have to know and understand that if we pray powerful prayers, all we have to do is wait to see the Lord move on our behalf. Because when Elijah prayed at Mount Carmel, he was not expecting that God would not do anything. He expected that God was going to move like he had never moved before. He asked God to move so that his name would have been glorified before the people. And I do believe that the same God that we serve, because we are asking in his name, that he will move on our behalf. My brother, my sister, is there something that has been troubling you? Is there a prayer that has been so uh, uh, heavy, heavy on your heart? Is there something in your life that has, has, has been troubling you and needs, needs some powerful prayer? This morning, I'm asking you, pleading with you, Pray like you have never prayed before. Ask the Lord to do something 
extraordinary. I believe in a, that God can change things in our lives, that God can perform miracles in our lives. He has done it before and he will do it today. May the Lord move this 100 days of prayer that at the end of this 100 days of prayer, when we give our testimonies, we will say and we will highlight major things that he has done for us in the 100 days of prayer. But we will say glory to his name because there is no other God that would have turned to, but that he is the only one that would do this thing for us. The Lord is doing something new among us. May he, may he do these things for the glory of his name. My brother, my sister, God is waiting for us to just pray and ask in his name. Let us pray powerful prayers. Let us believe that he can change things and situations for us and that there is nothing impossible for him. May the Lord bless you this morning as you think about these things. May he do something new for you and may his name be glorified because he is God and there's no one else but him. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Let us pray powerful prayers. Uh, amen. amen 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 thank you thank amen. you thank you amen. thank you thank you pastor matthew for that word to remind us why we are praying for 100 days uh not just because we can but because we believe that god is able to do some powerful things i think that was a call for somebody it certainly was a call for me uh to remind me that our god is able uh, to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or even think. And I don't know what you have been praying for, what you're praying for, but uh, do, 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 do we have the faith to really ask of God those things that we can't do by ourselves? Uh, what are you praying for? I don't know if there's a few people who are willing uh, to place in the chat. What are, what are you asking God to do this morning? Is there something that is so, uh, so big and so grand that only God can do it? Uh, and it would bring not only not, not, not glory to you, but certainly glory to the name of God. We want to glorify God. We want our prayers to be so, uh, so large and so powerful and so mighty uh, that we would have no choice but to give God the glory. So go ahead and share with us. How we, how you, what are you praying for this morning? Uh, what are you asking God to do? How do you want God to move? Uh, are you willing during the season of 100 days of prayer to trust, trust God with uh, the things that are too big for you to do? And so today, go ahead and share those requests with us. We are going to go in a season of prayer. Uh, we are going to come to God, Dr. Bruce, and we are going to ask God to do uh, the things that are too big, but would certainly bring glory to his name. We are going to go into a season of prayer. I'm going to need a few of my elder, uh, elders to pray if you're on this morning. We're going to go into a season of prayer and we're going to ask God to do those big and mighty things uh, this morning. So I'm going to ask uh, uh, Pastor Floyd, if you can start us off and then we're, we'll just follow up. We do have a few minutes and we'll just follow up, but let's, let's challenge God with the things that are uh, just out of this world. He has laid them on our hearts, the ideas he has given us, the concepts he has given us, the plans and the purpose God has placed before us. Let's take action and let's be bold like Elijah. Let's go forth with boldness and ask God to do these things that are, uh, are, are so marvelous that when it's done, we'll say it's marvelous uh, in my sight. This is not nothing else but God. Uh, would you pray for us, Elder Floyd? Go ahead. Uh, as you pray this morning, we want to wish, wish uh, Josiah uh, happy birthday, turn 11 years old today. Josiah, uh, wishing you a happy birthday. Please convey that message to Josiah for us this morning, uh, that God indeed has mighty plans and purpose for this young man, and uh, we want to lift him up. But let's, let us go forward in prayer, uh, Pastor Floyd, as we challenge God uh, for big things, that God would do amazing things. Would you pray for us? Let's pray. Father, we're thankful for the word that went forth this morning from our pastor, we're thankful for the reminder that you can do the impossible. You can do a new thing. You have the, the, the ability to do something that has never been done. The Red Sea was never opened before, and you did it. You, you caused the fire to come down from heaven in Elijah, Elijah's ministry and consumed the sacrifice. Yes. 
it was never done, but you but you did it. Um, when Jesus, when you were on earth, you, you did miracles that were never performed before. Yes. So we're, we're thanking you today that we serve a God who can do the big things, the God who can do what is seemingly impossible. And so today we, 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 we come with our different requests. Um, we are praying impossible, as it were, impossible prayers today. And we are thankful that you are the God of the impossible, that you can make a way out of no way. You, you can turn things around when it seems that they can't be turned around for good. So we pray that you will meet every desire, the desires of every heart today. Some are praying for husbands, some are praying for children, some are praying for their spouses, some, some are praying for financial breakthroughs. Some are asking you to give them a job that may be in, in their own strength, but they can't do it, but they can do it by you. So whatever the need today, because you're a God, a big God who cares and who, who's watching over us, we pray that you will grant those requests according to your will. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father, Father, again, we... Uh, tarry a little longer before you, God, uh, realizing that you are God, you're God, you're God, and you're God all by yourself. Uh, Father, there is nothing that is impossible to you. Uh, today, Father, we have been uh, encouraged, Father, to pray with bold faith, uh, to pray bold prayers, because we know that our God is able. Uh, Father, the truth of the matter is, God, you, you desire to give us all things, God. But Father, because of fear, because of uh, looking at our own abilities, our own resources, Father, we uh, do not even come to you to ask you for these things. Uh, give us, God, the uh, uh, prayer courage of uh, Joshua to even ask you to make the moon and the sun stand still. Uh, Father, we ask, oh God, that you give us the, uh, the faith of Peter to say, God, if it is you, Bid me to walk upon the waters. Uh, Father, what, what do you desire to do for somebody today? Uh, for someone, God, it's, uh, doctors have said that it's too late, it's over. There's nothing that can be done. And there's somebody who will come to you today for supernatural healing. God, you are the one who can even resurrect the dead, Father. Uh, you can cure every and heal every person today who is uh, in need of healing. Oh, Father, there's a family today, Father, whose marriage is in crisis. And Father, they can't see any way forward. But Father, you can step into that marriage. And Father, you can touch the hearts of your sons and your daughters, Father, and make them whole again. Uh, Father, there's someone who uh, is looking for supernatural financial breakthrough, Father. Uh, the job is not there, the income is not there, but the needs are there, Father. Uh, the bills have piled up, Father, and things have backed up to the point uh, someone is getting ready to be evicted. Someone is getting ready to have uh, their, their, their utilities cut off. Someone is getting ready to go through all of this season, Father. But today we are asking for supernatural outpouring, O oh God, of your blessing. Father, we want to pray in a way that will bring glory to you. Uh, Father, we thank you, Lord, for, for, for this platform of prayer that connects us with each other from uh, far and near, Father. Uh, we pray, God, that you do such a powerful thing during these season of prayer that, that we would have no option but to realize that God is able and that he can do all things. Uh, Father, there are men and women, Father, some in our family, some in our classroom, some are co-workers uh, that right now, Father, can use the blessing of a community that believes in the power of prayer a place where they can receive a word every morning to be encouraged. We pray, God, that we would uh, take action, that we'll go forward, believe in God, that, that even as we are being blessed, that they also will be blessed. Uh, Father, we pray, God, that you would enlarge our territory, Father. We pray, God, that you would increase our borders, not for our sake, but for Jesus' sake. Father, you are indeed doing a new thing. You're connecting us far and near, Father. You're connecting us with brothers and sisters around the world, Father, for your purpose and for your reason. And I believe, God, that if we are faithful, if we are faithful, we would see that our God would do amazing things. And so, Father, we pray, God, in a very special way that we would have the faith and the courage to believe that you can do what you say you will do. And there's nothing that is too hard for God. 
And so, Father, today we surrender. Uh, Father, in fact, we ask forgiveness, Lord, for, uh, for not trusting you, God, with those things that, seem, that are seemingly impossible. So today we give them all into your hands. Father, may your name be glorified, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And amen. Well, family, we want to thank you again. Thank you, Pastor Matthew, for, for that encouraging word. I pray, saints of God, uh, that you will continue to pray bold, bold prayer. Go forth with faith, believing that God can do all things, that there is absolutely nothing, there's absolutely nothing that is too hard for God. And so today, again, as we do always, we want to encourage you, uh, invite somebody. In fact, in fact, you know, I, I, I say this every day, and I think we, we just say it, but I want today, today, Tuesday, I, I want every person who is listening, I want you today, before this day is over, be intentional. In fact, if you have to do it right away. Uh, send somebody a text message. Say, hey, come, come pray with us. Come, come hear an encouraging word with us. Come be blessed with us. Uh, I'm asking every person, not one person. Uh, you must have a person in your phone contact. Uh, in fact, you know, I, I decided one day I, I'm going to invite every person in my phone contact. I don't care who it was. Uh, it could have been T-Mobile customer service. Uh, in fact, I, I sent a text. My wife received one. Uh, you know, Elder Bruce is on every morning. He received one. If you were in my phone, uh, you receive a text. And today, I think we are here. Uh, many of you are here because you did receive that. And it was just a simple text. Hey, a couple of us are getting together every day. We are praying together. Hey, why don't you come and pray with us? Send them the link. Uh, can we all do that today? Let me see. Raise your hand if you're going to do that today. Uh, you're going to send a text message. You're going to, yeah, go ahead. Let me see those reaction buttons. I will, Pastor. Amen, amen, amen. Everybody, everybody, go ahead. Uh, invite someone, whether or not it's to our morning manner, it's to our African virtual prayer. Uh, invite the saints of God to just join in prayer. Join a prayer group somewhere. Go ahead. Uh, everybody together, uh, everybody together. We are going to do that today and uh, we are going to trust God. Uh, your work is to send an invitation. Your work is to in invite, uh, invite them to come. Uh, you know, I'm always amazed. Um, you know, Pastor Matthew talk about praying impossible prayer, but really it's not an impossible prayer to, to have 300 people here tomorrow. Uh, because all we have to do is if every person go out today and say, hey, uh, who can I invite to come? Then God does the rest. It's not impossible uh, because that is, in, 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 uh, that is within our ability to do. That's not even you know, a, a God thing, but it's just a faithfulness. So please, again, go ahead today. Uh, bless somebody with an invitation. God bless you today. Uh, remember this evening, we meet again to pray for our children. Uh, we receive all the prayer requests for the day. Pastor Nashoni uh, is uh, hanging out with our brothers and our sisters and our African virtual prayer uh, talking about being armed and dangerous and so again you have that link please go ahead and join our brothers and sisters uh, in South Africa and uh, be blessed with them as they join with us there are several of them on with us today as we are being blessed today God bless you saints of God have a wonderful day be safe and well this is camp meeting season we want you to pray uh, for those who will be traveling from various places to camp meeting uh, that they would be safe and well uh, we will be leaving tomorrow morning as well for camp meeting. So we are praying that God will continue to uh, provide traveling mercies for all of you and all those who will be traveling. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed today. Pray something impossible. Uh, you know, stop, stop, stop fooling around in shallow water. Launch out into the deep and let down your net for catch. You're not going to catch it if you're in shallow water. Go out into the deep today. God bless you, saints of God. Be safe.